out of TikTok jail for the time being, so let's do another Bloody Alphabet 3 video to celebrate. This one is going to be on someone who I do have at least one other video on, Gary Ridgway, aka the Green River Killer. And as you may know by now, these took me a very long time, so if you can like, comment, share, copy link, let me know if you see a sign for you page, anything to help me get views, I appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, Gary Leon Ridgway was born on February 18th, 1949, and he is an American serial killer. He was initially convicted of 48 separate murders, and as part of his plea bargain, another conviction was added, bringing the total number of convictions to 49, making him the second most prolific serial killer in United States history, according to confirmed murders. He killed many teenage girls girls and women in the state of Washington during the 1980s and 1990s. Most of Ridgway's victims were alleged sex workers and other women in vulnerable circumstances, including teenage runaways. The press gave him his nickname after the first five victims were found in the Green River before his identity was known. He strangled his victims, usually by hand, but sometimes using ligatures, and after strangling them, he would dump their bodies in forested and overgrown areas in King County, often returning to the bodies to have sexual intercourse with them. On November 30th, 2001, as Ridgway was leaving the Kenworth Truck Factory, where he worked in Renton, Washington, he was arrested for the murders of four women whose cases were linked to him through DNA profiling evidence. As part of the plea bargain, where he agreed to disclose the locations of still missing women, he was spared the death penalty and received a sentence of life imprisonment without parole instead. Gary was born in Salt Lake City, Utah, and was the second of Mary and Thomas Ridgway's three sons. His home life was somewhat troubled. Relatives had described his mother as domineering and have said that while young, he witnessed more than one violent argument between his parents. His father was a bus driver who would often complain about the presence of sex workers. This is interesting considering that Gary went on to mostly murder sex workers. Ridgway also had a bedwetting problem until he was 13, and his mother would wash his genitals after every episode. Chronic bedwetting is also one part of the McDonald triad. He would later tell defense psychologists that as an adolescent, he had conflicting feelings of both anger and sexual attraction toward his mother and then fantasized about killing her. Ridgway is also dyslexic and was held back a year in high school. When he was 16, he stabbed a six-year-old boy who survived the attack. He had led the boy into the woods and then stabbed him through the ribs and into his liver. Gary graduated from high school in 1969 and married his 19-year-old high school girlfriend, Claudia Craig. He then joined the United States Navy and was sent to Vietnam, where he served on board as a supply ship and saw combat. During his time in the military, Gary had frequent sexual intercourse with sex workers and then contracted gonorrhea, and although he was upset by this, he continued the activity without protection, and his marriage thus ended within a year. When people who knew him were questioned about him after his arrest, they claimed that he was friendly but very strange. Women in his life also said that he had an insatiable sexual appetite, and he ended up with three ex-wives and many ex-girlfriends. He's currently still alive in prison.